So see the next problem in the capillarity and uh, effective stress principle. So you got the foundation trench which needs to be excavated in a stratum of the stiff clay which is 10 uh, meter thick and uh, this is underlined by a bit of uh, coarse sand and uh, in a trial bore hole the groundwater table was observed to rise to an elevation of 3.5 meter below ground surface. They have asked to determine the depth up to which an uh, excavation can be safely carried out without the danger of the bottom being unstable and under the uh, absolutely the under the artesian pressure in the sand. They have given the uh, properties uh, pertaining to clay. Uh, Gs for clay that is specific gravity of the solids for clay is 2.75 and wide ratio of the clay is 0.8. So I will uh, move ahead with this problem. I uh, will draw a diagram for illustration purpose. So we have got the clay and then after that uh, you got the uh, sand which is in artesian pressure. So this is clay. This is the sand. So the thickness of the clay layer is given it as the 10 meter thick and uh, you need to uh, have the trench in the, this stiff clay. So you need to excavate this. They are asked to how much you can safely excavate. I take it as said parameter. So how, how much you can safely excavate without bottom being unstable. So without bottom being unstable that indicates this particular bottom which ha should not become unstable or there should not be any kind of upward movement of the water or upward movement of the soil and uh, the sand is uh, under the artesian pressure of so if you have uh, that's what is given in this problem in a trial borehole the groundwater table was observed to rise to an elevation of 3.5 meter below ground surface so which indicates so uh, the groundwater table so if, if I insert a piezometer in the sand the water table will rise up to elevation equals to 3.5 meter this is water table this is water in the sand and they have asked us to evaluate the G and properties relevant to clay are given it as G equals to 2.75 and E equals to Pointed. So these all pro properties are given in order to calculate the saturated unit weight because to proceed with this you need a weight because if I consider this kind of interface which is 1 1 I need to find it out the balance of the total stress and the pore pressure I need to find it out so at equilibrium at equilibrium you must have the upward pressure equals to downward pressure you must have the balance of upward pressure and uh, downward pressure so upward pressure upward pressure is given by pore water and downward pressure that which is a stabilizing pressure is given by the self weight Therefore, uh, in order to calculate self weight, you must have you know the total stress acting at this level. So, in order to calculate total stress acting at this level, you must know the saturated unit weight of the clay. So, from the basic definition, if you recall, the saturated unit weight is equal to G plus E divided by 1 plus E into gamma W. So, uh, therefore, mm, uh, I, I play I place all the uh, parameters in this equation uh, which becomes equals to gamma sat ultimately becomes equals to uh, G which is 2.75 plus e is 0 0.8 and uh, 1 plus 0 0.8 into uh, gamma W I'll take gamma w as 9.81 because it is not given in the problem. 
try uh, place all the parameters I'll get uh, gamma saturated as uh, 19 point Three four seven five kilonewton per m cube. I'll get uh, gamma sat as nineteen point three four, and uh, so the downward pressure, which is a uh, resistance, which uh, which will not allow the bottom to heave. So the, this downward pressure, which is nothing but nineteen point three four seven five into n2 which is very very important since you have made an uh, excavation the downward pressure becomes equal to this particular height edge and height edge is nothing but 10 meter minus z because you have excavated it so it becomes 10 minus z so this is the downward pressure which is stabilizing and upward pressure is because it is given by the pore water pressure right so upward pressure which is acting is because of the artesian pressure in the sand which is purely because of the pore water which is equals to gamma w into this particular height edge so this particular height edge is nothing but 10 minus 3.5 which becomes equal to 6.5 so it becomes equal to 9 point gamma w 9.81 into 6.5 meter so uh, this gives the pressure in kilo pascal kilo newton per meter square and if you equate this with this you'll probably get the value of z that means uh, up to this particular z you can uh, do a safe excavation so uh, so this particular value uh, you'll end up it at getting 63.76 kilopascal so this becomes 63.76 has to be equal to 19.34 to 10 minus z so from this equation you we'll calculate z and it comes out to be equal to 0.5 comes out equal to 6.71 meter it comes out to be 6.71 meter so up to uh, depth z equal to 6.71 meter you can have a safe excavation up to 6.5 6.71 meter excavation you can safely excavate but if you go beyond the 6.71 down then artesian pressure becomes more which results in the upward uh, flow of the water and therefore this particular soil in this region will fail and uh, that particular phenomenon we'll discuss which is uh, nothing but the hydraulic gradient chapter and uh, in the consequent chapter but remember this is very very simple and basic uh, problem in order to evaluate but yeah uh, i'll uh, extend uh, this problem to a next level and uh, i'll rewrite the statement if you want to have if the excavation wants to be done equals to 8 meter then by how much amount the groundwater table needs to be lowered So this is the again extension of this problem number four this is extension so if you want to have a excavation of about eight meter then by how much amount you need to lower the groundwater table so i'll redraw a diagram so if you want to have this eight meter excavation in the soil you have end up at getting here only two meter and the artesian pressure acting at this level which was uh, is uh, almost about 3.5 meter and this particular level is uh, 6.5 meter uh, from this particular point uh, figure 
this this will not change only you are doing just the excavation beyond uh, this 6.71 meter so this is the artesian pressure so here if you do it then uh, I'll rewrite upward pressure upward pressure will be equal to same 9.81 into because of the pore water pressure into 6.5 which becomes equal to 63.76 kPa that what we have evaluated in the previous slides and uh, if you do the calculation you will again end up at getting the same answers uh, upward pressure remains the same but the downward uh, pressure which is uh, self weight of the soil which changes so downward pressure becomes equal to gamma sat which is 19.34 19.34 into 2 meter so it becomes equal to uh, 28.68 kilopascal so obviously from by, by comparing the uh, upward with downward upward has exceeded its value therefore the bottom is not stable so in order to make it stable you need to lower this ground level so uh, therefore you need to lower it by how much amount that's what is being asked in the question so this particular level i call it as a, again a same uh, i call it as z1 so therefore since the downward pressure is only you have left it out with the 28 uh, sorry probably i have mistaken it's a 38 it's 38 yes 38.68 which is equals to which is equals to uh, gamma w into uh, z1 gamma w into z1 from by saying uh, by looking at this particular figure it's just the gamma w into z1 it is upward pressure that needs to be balanced so I need to place gamma W equal to 9.81 then you will get Z1 as uh, 38.68 divided by 9.81 uh, you will get Z1 as uh, 3.943 meter rewrite 3.943 meter so initially uh, it was at uh, 6.5 meter elevation and uh, finally you get this particular figure z1 3.943 so by this much amount it needs to be lowered so therefore the x becomes equals to right over here only 0.943 which becomes equal to 2.943 5 meter so by 2.55 meter you need to lower down the groundwater table in order to uh, safeguard this soil from a uh, bottom heaving purpose so this finishes uh, the problem number four uh, in the effective stress principle and that's all and also we have just seen the extension if you want to have more excavation if you want to go deeper and deeper you need to lower down the groundwater table uh, because there will be a pore water pressure and the water will press all the pushes all the soil uh, within this vicinity in the upward side direction and there will be boiling or there will be a quicksand condition we'll see the all this condition uh, later on but uh, from, from problem point of view yeah the this is the concept and this finishes the problem number four we'll move ahead with the next problem thank you